psychedelic drugs are the most misunderstood and underrated therapies in psychiatry. They were medicines from the 1950s to the late 1960s when they were banned because people started using them uh, and voting against war in Vietnam. Uh, and since that ban there's been no research and we've had 50 years of people deprived of their therapeutic potential. And in the last couple of years my group and others such as the Beckley Foundation have been fighting back to try to restore some semblance of rationality in this debate. We've shown that if you use magic mushrooms you can lift chronic depression in people who failed multiple antidepressants with just a single dose of, of, of psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic, magic mushrooms. And these effects can last for months. This is a potentially very powerful revolutionary treatment for chronic depression. Similar studies have been done using again magic mushrooms in addictions to cigarettes and to alcohol. We're also now setting up a trial in obsessive compulsive disorder. But all this research is extremely difficult and very expensive because the drugs are called illegal drugs. They're put in a schedule which means that they're, they're treated as if they are more dangerous than drugs like fentanyl or heroin, which are way more dangerous and more sought after. So my hope is that this debate we've had here and the communications we've had here will inspire people to ask the question, why don't we change the law to allow doctors to use these drugs? In the first instance, in research, and if the research turns out positively, let's roll that out into clinical practice. Can you talk more about the, um, the trial into OCD? One of the things we're trying to do is help people with OCD break down their uh, repetitive, compulsive thinking patterns. And we, are, we think that psilocybin, magic mushroom juice, will be a way of doing that. Uh, we understand that people with OCD are very scared about letting go. So we're not going to give them a full trip because I don't think they'd sign up for that. But what we're going to do is use a lower dose of psilocybin to help make their brains more flexible so they can better engage with the ongoing psychotherapy, the behavior therapy that they're using at present. So it's not a, it's not a kind of, it doesn't deal with it in one go. It's about working better with um, CBT and, and allowing them to not associate themselves too strongly with any individual thought that they may be getting stuck on. It's a way of like, kind of like, just like yeah. uh, lubricating. That's right. We see, we're hoping, and of course the trial hasn't started, it hasn't got funding yet, so we're, you know, basically we're, we've developed a vision, we're going to go for funding, but the idea is that maybe with low dose, almost a micro dose of psilocybin, we could l help people's brains be lubricated enough that they can better engage with the psychotherapy, with the CBT or the behavior therapy, and maybe also the brain might be lubricated enough to learn better. So they'll not only engage with the therapy better, but they might get a better outcome from the therapy. Interesting, really interesting. Well, um, so there's regulatory problems in the UK, if changing slowly. Mm. How about in other countries? Do, do, you, like, do you collaborate yeah, with okay. Europe or America? Yeah. Of course, the fundamental problem working with psychedelics is that every one of the 197 countries in the United Nations has signed up to ban these drugs. The only exception was the Netherlands. And the Netherlands were very clever, just as they were very clever about cannabis, they were very clever about the mushrooms. Because when they were told to ban the mushroom, they banned the mushroom, but they didn't ban the truffle, which is the, the bit of the mushroom underground from which the mushroom grows. So in the Netherlands, truffles are legal, and there's a huge uh, therapeutic industry now of people going from Britain and also other parts of, of Europe to have therapy sessions with psilocybin uh, based on the truffles. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI TV.